The NBUSD Board of Education is holding a regular board meeting tonight that all can participate remotely via Zoom or in person here in the boardroom. Directions on how to participate via Zoom are available at nbusd.org slash board. The open session part of the meeting agenda begins at 7 p.m. Before going into closed session, the board is available for public comment on closed session agenda items. Mr. Michaels, is there any public comment on closed session items? Uh, we do have one hand raised, um, Justin Hamilton Hole. Uh, go ahead. Hi, uh, this, this, is, this is not my concern about closed session. I have a question. I sent, I try to send you guys an email back and see if you guys can look into, see if you guys can work on the, um, the new letter. Uh, the we letter. got the email, yes. You did receive. Okay. I don't we, know if I tried to work on that. It is not working for me. Okay, we will try again. Thank you. You're very welcome. Mr. Michaels, do we have any other public comment? Uh, there is no more public comment on closed session items. Great. Um, we will now uh, go into closed session and we'll see you all at 7 p.m. Good evening. My name is Robin Jankowitz, and this is the Napa Valley Unified School District Board of Education. The NVUSD Board of Education is holding a regular board meeting tonight that all can participate in remotely via Zoom or in person here in the boardroom. Interpretation in Spanish is available for tonight's virtual board meeting. Our interpreters are Vanessa Cardenas and Francisco Meza. May we have one of the interpreters translate the directions on our English channel so our Spanish speaking families can hear the instructions. Absolutely. Buenas tardes, buenas noches. La interpretación en español está disponible para la reunión virtual de la junta directiva de esta noche. Para acceder a la interpretación desde un computador, haga clic en el icono de interpretación en la parte inferior de su pantalla dentro de la aplicación Zoom. En un dispositivo móvil, haga clic en el botón que dice More o Más en la parte inferior de su pantalla elija la interpretación en el idioma desde dentro de la aplicación Zoom. Se trata de un canal independiente que le permitirá escuchar simultáneamente la traducción del inglés a español. Por favor, tenga en cuenta que los servicios de interpretación no están disponibles cuando se une a nuestra reunión llamando. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Can we please start with an attendance call from Vera Morales, Executive Assistant? Yes, student board member Gomez. Present. Trustee Jankowitz. Present. Trustee Gracia. Present. Trustee Water. Present. Trustee Reiser is absent tonight. Trustee Gonzalez Mares. Present. Trustee Shu. Present. Quorum present. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vera. Thank you for joining us tonight for our Napa Valley Unified School District board meeting. Public participation tonight and moving forward will be both virtual online and in person here in the boardroom. Directions on how to participate via Zoom are available at nbusd.org slash board. Trustee Water, do you have a report on closed session items? Yes, um, let's see, item D1, whoops. Yes, item D1, uh, student discipline. Board recommends an expulsion of student 101, excuse me, 101320 22A. Move to expel. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. All in favor. Um, may, uh, may I have a roll call vote, please, Vera? Yes. Trustee Jankowitz. Um, aye. Trustee Gracia. Aye. Trustee Water. Aye. Trustee Reiser. I'm sorry, Trustee Gonzalez Mares? Aye. Trustee Shu? Aye. Thank you. And uh, D1B, readmitted expulsion, um, board recommends readmitted, readmitted expulsion of student 101420021B. Move to readmit. First by Trustee Gracia. 
I'll second. Second by um, Trustee Gonzalez Maras. Um, may I please get a roll call vote, Vera? Trustee Jankowitz? Aye. Trustee Gracia? Aye. Trustee Water? Aye. Trustee Gonzalez Maras? Aye. Trustee Shu? Aye. Thank you. Thank you, Vera. We're now going to have the flag salute, and I would ask that the AP Gov class leads us in the flag salute this evening. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This meeting is live streamed and recorded via Zoom and will be archived on the district YouTube channel. For a detailed review of any meeting agenda, the archive video can be referenced and located on the district webpage at nbusd.org. The public can join the virtual board meeting remotely via Zoom. Participation instructions and the process for public comment can be found on the district webpage. Approval of the agenda, may I get a motion? Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. All in favor? Aye. 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 And approval of the agenda passes. Moving on to approval of minutes of September 22nd, 2022. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. A recognition of visitors and employee organizations. Dr. Massetti. Thank you, President Jankwitz. I'd like to welcome tonight. I see the president of CSEA, um, Mr. Hector Gallegos. Can you please uh, promote Mr. Hector Gallegos? so that he may address the board. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear me. I'm uh, President of uh, representing CSCA. I just welcome everybody and have a good evening. Thanks for being here, Mr. Gallegos. That is the only special guest that I see here tonight. Thank Wonderful. you so much. Oh, oh we, we, oh, have, we have the special guest. Right on time. Come up to the podium. We'll start with Ms. Gail Young from NVA. Ms. Walder is here from NAPS as well. Hi, I'm Gail Young. I am president of Napa Valley Educators Association. We represent teachers, nurses, and counselors. Um, I am excited to be here tonight. I'm, you actually have made a decision and we were so very excited about a 7% raise and a 2% um, a two percent off salary. Um, I think that it's a wonderful thing for our um, for our whole organization. I think we all work very hard and um, it is, I think it's wonderful that we have done the work that needs to be done in order to right size our district to be able to compensate appropriately our, our employees. Thanks. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Good Leslie evening. Walder. I'm president of NAPS, NAP Association of People Services. I'm pleased to be here tonight as well. Um, like Gail, I am represent a group of, of dedicated employees who have put a lot of heart and soul into their jobs, as I know many, many of us have done the last several years. And to be acknowledged with a cost of living adjustment that re recognizes the degree of, of difficulty that, that the job has entailed the last couple of years. Um, and to also to offset costs um, in, in this uncertain economy um, is greatly appreciated by our membership. Um, I wanted to take a brief moment to also acknowledge that, you know, we are moving towards um, elections. And I wanted to take a moment as a, as a parent, an alumni parent of Napa Valley Unified School District, um, We've had the experience of being the parent whose child's school was slated to be closed. 
um, it didn't happen in 2005. It did happen in 2020. I have also the parent of a school that was closed last this last June. And I think I, I don't envy you the position that you're in. I don't envy you the hard decisions that you have to make. What I do know is that without those decisions and without making hard choices, we would be in far worse shape um, as a district. And I think it's really important. And I don't think that message can be echoed enough. So I just want to express my gratitude to this board, to our administration who has had to make hard choices in the face of opposition, of upset community members. And I get that school is community. And my child's school was that place where he was welcome and he was a part of. I don't discount that. I also think it's important that we work together for the collective good of all of our students. So I thank you for the hard work you do. Good thank evening. you, Ms. Waldo. Welcome. We now have recognition of students of the month. Principal Cisneros, are you are you here to introduce your two students? That I am. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Good evening, Madam President, trustees, uh, Dr. Massetti, and guests that are here tonight with us. I am excited to be back and presenting some of our top stars, but first I got to share a little something. We are back and celebrating 20 years of, um, of service and completing the, and also completing our first trimester, pentamester at Valley Oak High School. Today we celebrated a great number of students and recognized their academic achievement. Um, just some quick data for you, because I know you like data. We have 73% of our students that have 90% attendance or higher. So this, that's a huge testament to all the work uh, for my staff. And 68% of our students earned um, a C or better in this pentamester. So we're looking forward to, to the next the next few pentamesters on our campus. But again, this is a huge testament to the, to the work of the staff, the students, and our families that are working together to make sure students um, have opportunities to achieve at the highest level. And when that said, it is my honor to introduce to you tonight um, our first student of the month, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, Miles um, uh, Felix Espinoza. Uh, she's from, let's see, where did Miles go? There, there he is. Um, what can I say about Miles? Um, I, he is one of the most gifted math minds um, uh, that, that we have at, at Valley Oak. Um, He's taken the, the you know the the class with uh, with um, data science and my understanding from Mr. Garcia is that he's just taken it to the max and uh, really enjoying not just um, uh, the course itself but 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 the 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 class uh, environment a uh, huge contributor uh, to the class asking some really critical questions and as they're looking at real data based on surveys that they've done so far it was just it's, it's a pleasure to see students math just really Really learning every single day um, with numbers that matter. And so with that said, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Miles. And Miles is going to share a little something about his journey and also his future plans. Miles, are you here? I actually don't see Miles on. Okay. All right. Well, I'm so sorry you didn't get a chance to listen to him because, um, again, he he was just gonna had incredible um, uh, essay to share with you. How about is um, do we have? Because I can't tell on my end. Uh, do we have Dinata? Hi. <laughs> Hi. All right. So let me say something a little first. Thank you for being here. Um, this young lady um, just. I, I, I've had the opportunity to talk to her a few times and just very insightful, um, very charismatic. Um, and then I also learned that she completed her CNA uh, studies uh, prior to coming to Valley Oak. Um, it's a, she's a mom. And so learning how to balance the school and being, being a parent 
and making sure that um, her son Gonzalo is well taken care of and on top of her studies because her motivation is to do well um, so that she can offer her son the, the best future that she can uh, possible. Teachers just love, love, love her having her in class. Her smile is contagious, uh, but also how she pushes the bar uh, within the classroom. So with, it's a great uh, honor for me to introduce you, Leonetta, that's going to share a few words with you. Thank you, Mrs. Narrows. I would like to begin. I'm, I'm so sorry. Good evening, Board of Trustees, the Napa Valley Community, Community Foundation and guests. I would like to begin by thanking my mother and my baby boy who are my number one supporters and give me the motivation to excel in everything that comes my way. As young adults, we don't always value or acknowledge certain opportunities that come our way. We take little to no interest at times and take things for granted until those doors are shut. Sitting in a classroom chair is such an opportunity and a privilege we don't always value until that privilege is taken. On November 12, 2021, I gave birth to my son, Gonzalo, who has become my biggest motivation and my reason to succeed. When you're 17 with a newborn, you have people from side to side telling you how your life pretty much is over, how you will spend the rest of your life providing for a kid and end up doing nothing with yourself. Receiving all those negative comments really affected me. But what crushed me more was the fact I was no longer accepted in school for having absolutely no credits and not taking school seriously. At this point, I only had two options in life. That was whether I'd do my best to motivate myself and get my life together or prove everybody else right. I decided to do what was best for, for, for not only myself, but my son. I enrolled and completed the certified nursing assistant program and transferred to Valley Oak, where I will complete my high school education. A school that has the kindest staff and very patient teachers which has helped me obtain a 4.0 GPA to this day. It gives, me that, it gives me so much more motivation when I see that it really is possible to succeed. When you succeed, you are in a position to give rather than to take. Again, I would like to thank my mother and my son and my entire school faculty for the support and to the school board members and the foundation. Thank you for this award. Thank you, Mrs. Narrows. Congratulations, Anata. Very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Before we go to principal Deb, I Principal Dev, are you here to introduce your um, students of the month? I am. Thank you. Uh, good evening, NBU Board of Trustees, Madam President, and Dr. Massetti. Uh, my name is Abhinav Dev, and I'm the new principal at New Technology High School. Uh, first and foremost, congratulations to the students of the month at Valley uh, Here at New Tech, we've had a really exciting and successful start to the school year, and I'm thankful for the opportunity to shine a light on some of our amazing New Tech students. Today, I'm happy to introduce you to two wonderful students who have truly embodied what it means to be a new tech penguin. The resilience and hard work shown by both of these students have been remarkable. Our student of the month for September is Liliana Hernandez. Liliana is a senior at new tech. Liliana has an exceptional academic record. Her teachers shared that she is resilient, shows grit in all situations. Liliana is a true mathematician who embodies New Tech's core values of trust, respect, and responsibility. Liliana was not able to be here tonight, but she wanted me to share the following on her behalf. To the NBOSD Board of Trustees, I apologize I wasn't able to make it today, but here are a few words. I want to thank everyone who nominated me as the Student of the Month. It's a very honorable title I hope to live up to, and I wouldn't be able to accept this without New Tech High School, which has given me many opportunities. Everything New Tech High has put into my path, teachers, classes, projects, has helped me improve as a student and become the person I am today. Thank you again. Congratulations to Liliana and her family. On to our student of the month for October. Congratulations to Natalia Oliveira. Natalia is also a senior at New Tech High. Natalia's teachers describe her as a quiet leader, a self-advocate, 
and a friend who will be there at all times. She is a motivated, intelligent person with a strong understanding of her future and is dedicated to pave the path most suited to her strongest abilities. We are very proud to have a student like Natalia represent New Tech High. Natalia was also not able to be here tonight, but she wanted me to share the following on her behalf. Hello, everyone. I apologize for not being able to attend this meeting. I just wanted to say how honored I am to be recognized by New Tech for being named Student of the Month. I'm genuinely grateful for the experience and memories I've made, along with the bonds and friendships I've had throughout the course of being at New Tech. Being a part of a small community makes it feel like I'm part of one big family, which I couldn't be more grateful to be a part of. Congratulations to Natalia and her family. Have a great evening. Off, so I, I do want to express my gratitude to the Napa Valley Ed Foundation and Jennifer Stewart and her team for their continued support of the Student of the Month program. Thank you. Public comment on non-agenda items. Members of the audience may address the board on any school-related matter that is not on the agenda. The board will not take action on any issue raised during the section of the agenda in as much as board action is limited to posted agenda items. Speakers are requested to limit their comments to a maximum of three minutes. Trustee Water, do we have any public comment on non-agenda items received via email at public comment at nbusd.org? No public comments on non-agenda items were submitted via email before 8 a.m. this morning. Thank you very much. Mr. Michaels, do we have any comment on non-agenda items? Uh, we do. Uh, first speaker is Norma Ortiz. Uh, go ahead, please. Good, in good evening, Napa Valley Unified School District board members and community at large. My name is Norma Ortiz, parent of an eighth grader. Students who experience challenges fulfilling the A through G track requirements, those who don't qualify for special education services, but might almost be borderline of meeting the criteria for an IEP individualized education plan, but don't, what are their options? Those students who need additional time, the content might be hard for them or learn at a slow pace and differently, but don't qualify for special education supports. How can we better support them? What other placements can be provided to students other than Valley Oak in the event they qualify for, qualify for that pathway? Those who have home hospital, independent studies, alternative programs, vocational programs, homeless students, English language learners with dual category, economic disadvantages, those who can't handle large classroom, et cetera, a less rigorous pathway without sending them to Valley Oak if they might prefer another option, academic community. As a parent, I would like to know precise data on dropout rates at high schools and chronic absenteeism. How are students being encouraged, empowered to not give up and continue their studies if under the above circumstances, who might not be passing all of their classes even in the general education setting? Question, might the existing pathway need some revisions, adjustments, inclusions, recalibration in terms of the environmental expectations? We need to continue supporting all students, even those who might have low IQ IQs so that none don't give up in their education journey and want to en enroll at our colleges and universities and avoid ADA loss, perhaps expand the alternative program question. In addition to the delays during COVID-19 impact in education and consequences and the staff shortages, every student should want to go to college and higher education. However, this is not something all students want for whatever reason it might be. We want to make sure all students have the abilities to feel comfortable with challenges and that we continue to support them to gain confidence thriving in different academic environments and to find mechanism supports to continue working in their weakness and strengths to meet the standards, advanced intervention so students who need it feel more at home and so forth. Next academic school year, my daughter will transition to high school, and I believe it might be a good idea to have at our high school websites a parental guide resources also available in paper format with information on the AG requirements, the, the graduation requirements set forth by the California Department of Education pursuant to Education Code. For informational purposes, fall to any 20 to 
School tours are available November and December at Redwood Middle School, mornings 845 through 945 on these dates, October 25th, November 1st, November 8th, and November 15th, where parents can also get information about the program, services, committees, events, departments, ask questions, provide feedback, and so forth. Also at Napa High, the tours are on November 1st, November 15th, November 19th. If interested, according to the website, please contact Allison at um, Eldor. Uh, a D A A D E L O R I M I E R at nvusd.org by providing students' name, parents' name, current school attending, and phone number. I am also proud of my age. Well, I'm so sorry. We're we're at the three minute mark. I I do apologize. I appreciate your comments. Thank you very much, Mr. Michaels. Do we have any other public comment? Oh, uh, we do. Uh... Justin Hamilton Hole, uh, go ahead. Thank you, Amy, board members, superintendents. Um, thank you so much. I, I just want to uh, say thank you. I hope this is going to work on the, so I can get more uh, new, uh, new letter for the school. And I and the other thing is, I tried to call you guys, and there's nobody in the office today. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. Mr. Michaels? Uh, we have no further uh, public comment. Thank you very much. We're moving on to reports from the Board of Education and our student board rep. Um, Student Board Rep Gomez, would you like to start us off? Do you think we could come back to me? Absolutely. Thank you. Trustee Chu? Sure. Um, I, with the last three weeks, I guess, that we've been out, been pretty busy. Um, September 27th, I attended a site visit to American Canyon Middle School along with Trustee Gonzalez Mars. Thank you, Principal Carliza Batalier, for hosting us. On the 3rd of October, I attended the Special Education Matriculation Information Night. Um, thank you to Director Terry Lynn Rossetti and her staff for providing valuable information to our parents who are about to transition from elementary to middle school and middle school to high school. On the 4th, um, I attended the ACMS ACHS ELAC meeting, um, got really a good taste of what it really felt like to get that interpretation because I had to put on the, um, you know, the headset to get that interpretation into English. So really happy that we we're providing that because I could actually understand everything that was going on. Um, on October 7th, I attended the coffee with the principal at Napa Junction. Thank you to Principal Noreen Montgomery for inviting me. Got really great feedback from the parents there. On the 11th of October, um, I had a governance and implementation work meeting with Dr. Musetti, and I also attended the Canyon Oaks PTO meeting. And on the funner side of things, um, I attended the ACHS versus Napa High football game on the 30th of September, and also the ACHS and Vintage football game on October 7th. Those are always fun. Um, and on the 8th of October, I helped Canyon Oaks Garden Club in their work party. So did a lot of cutting <laughs> of large shrubbery. Um, and uh, Mrs. Liz Corey just did does an awesome job with that program. Really happy and uh, with that, uh, my fifth grader is attending that program and just looking forward to all the great things that they're doing. They had four giant pumpkins growing in their garden this year. So that was pretty amazing. Um, and I also um, dropped in on ACHS academic decathlon team um, that is uh, hosted by Ms. Alma Gonzalez, the sponsor of that club, really amazing group of kids. And I continue to engage um, with constituents about the school district, including uh, Measure A2 down in American Canyon. And I wanna finish by acknowledging that October is Breast, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so I am wearing my <laughs> so in, in honor of our wonderful superintendent that has fought and won against breast cancer. And I just realized today that it is really, you know, 
um, a kind of a merging of my professional life as a cancer geneticist with my school board life as the trustee of MVUSD. So um, I'm glad I provided you that opportunity. Oh, well, that's in the case, but it's yes, it's symmetrical. And uh, October is also Filipino American Heritage Month. So um, yeah, so there are you know some things that are are being put out um, to learn a little bit more about the culture we have down in American Canyon. So looking forward to to seeing that all month. Thank you, Trustee Chu. Trustee Gonzalez Morris. Yeah, um, so I wanna thank Trustee Chu and Principal uh, Carlisa Batalier for hosting me because Trustee Chu could have done that tour with her eyes closed. And it was just, uh, we were just there what, a couple of weeks before to do the grand opening of the new facilities and the multi-purpose room, the library and all of that. But just going through the, through the campus and the classrooms and just seeing the kiddos go from break to the next class and all of that is just a lot of great energy to see it in, in live in motion with with everybody um and she gets recruited to volunteer all the time and so <laughs> voluntold I she's voluntold um and um i also uh, participated which will be a, a, a later reported out um to the city of napa meeting that we had and um just a, a, an announcement, it is uh, Latino Heritage Month, and there is a exhibition at the Napa County Historical Society um, by the Napa by Latino Heritage Committee and the St. Helena Historical Society. It's called Hilos Invisibles, Visible Threads, and just um, excellent opportunity to stop by the Historical Society and see the exhibition between now and uh, March, actually. So, and that concludes my report. Thank you very much. Trustee Water. All right. Well, I've had lots of community engagement over the last uh, few weeks. I, and actually, in, every Tuesday night, it's going to keep on happening. And uh, last week, we did have the meeting with uh, representatives from the city of Napa. And uh, also last week, um, I w had a treat. I got to uh, spend several days altering a sequin homecoming candidate dress. And I was thrilled that uh, Chloe did make princess. So, you know, the effort was worth it. And I enjoyed the uh, big game, the Napa big game. Always love the halftime show for homecoming. Not big game, pardon me, it was homecoming. And uh, let's see, I had a governance meeting yesterday with the superintendent. And today I met <clears throat> trustee Gracia at Shearer School, and among other things, we uh, we had a wonderful chat with Principal Gardner, and we went to the TK classes where they were the children were playing, you know, having lots of hands-on play, play, play activities. It was fun, and then um, we went into the uh, middle school pilot and saw some students engaged in some pretty high-level uh, analysis. You know, they were, and they were learning skills that will help them out when they end up in 11th grade English. And then I ran over to Silverado and had a delicious lunch. Um, it was a uh, pot sticker day and uh, dropped in and took a look at the library, which is really quite nice. And then I stood out there on the stairs and um, saw Ms. Christofferson and uh, many, other, many other folks working there, Mr. Pearson and uh, watch the kids playing in the sun. And it just, I was thinking, boy, this is one of the most beautiful views a school can have. That's the end of my report. Thank you. Sure, so on the 23rd, I attended the Vintage High School game versus Casa Grande. And then on the 30th, the Vintage game in Petaluma. On the 6th, I attended the meeting with the town of Yonville. Uh, also on the 6th, I was uh, scheduled to attend a site visit at Valley Oak, uh, but was unable to visit due to the principal being pressed into service as a teacher due to a lack of substitutes. On the 6th as well, I attended the Silverado Middle School safety meeting. And then on the 7th, that was the Vintage High School versus uh, Amcan High School football game. And then on the 13th, as uh, Trustee Water already alluded, we had a great tour at Shear, both elementary and middle, uh, same school, but you know they have both programs. Um, and so it was uh, a good time. And that's all I have to report. Thank you very much. 
Yes, thank you. So just a few opportunities that I'd like to bring up in the community for the youth and for students. Given that college applications are in full swing and deadlines are quickly approaching, it's forced me to reflect on my own work in the community and its importance. One such opportunity for those interested in environmentalism or enhancing our community is through the Napa RCD program. If you go to their website, napaRCD.org, you'll see that there's a specific tab that has information regarding their volunteer program as well as other programs aimed at the youth, which includes internships. Additionally, the Napa County Library has a teen LGBTQ book club who meets once a month. Their next meeting is a week from today at the library from four to five, and they will be reading Heartbreak Bakery by A.R. Capetta. Again, this is next Thursday at four at the Napa County Library. So if you're a teen that's possibly interested, it'd be great for you to attend because all are welcome. And finally, I would like to acknowledge and congratulate the winners of the Napa Opioid Safety Coalition sticker contest. Vintage High School students, Mildred Rosales, Angelica Morales, and Emmeline Reinsheimer. Each of their designs were very creative and showed off their artistic prowess. So congrats to them. And thanks to all that submitted a design and took the time to participate. I hope that we can continue putting an effort into drug and fentanyl awareness so we can reach everyone in emphasizing the message of their dangers and the benefit and that the benefits of drug usage pale in comparison to their unhealthy and potentially detrimental effects. And that concludes my report. Thank you very much. I'll be brief. October is, as it's been stated, is Cancer Awareness Month. To honor survivors we love, those we don't know, and to honor those that we have lost. I met with um, Adam Housley to hear his take on education and its relationship to our city partners. I won't go through all the merits of each of my site visits, but I've been to Vintage High School, Vichy Elementary, Unidos, Redwood Middle School, and Browns Valley Elementary. I attended the Town of Yauntville meet meeting. I attended two informational bond measure community meetings. I had the opportunity, as did Trustee Water, for a great deal of community engagement and outreach over the last few weeks. I, too, had my implementation and governance meeting. And in the fun category, Trustee Chu, I attended the uh, Vintage High Napa Frosh JV and Varsity Volleyball Games. Okay, board representative reports. Special education? We have not met. Thank you. City of American Canyon? We have not met. Thank you. City of Napa, I know you met. Yes, we did. Um, we um, held a meeting that was last week. It was like two weeks ago. But um, we had um, assistant c uh, city manager, um, staff from Public Works, um, and on behalf of um, Chief uh, Gonzalez, um, Lieutenant I think Pacheco was there and uh, Mr. Vind. Um, we talked a lot about the general plan that the city has. Um, they're putting that final plan to the council on the 18th. 18th? Of October. Okay, yep. thank you. Um, and just talked about you know, housing and Napa Pipe and just um, other Costco. <laughs> When's that going to happen? It was no date yet, just FYI. Um, and, um, they're in the, um, local, we, we did have a, they did, they did share, there was a report that they were going to email us actually on the local roadway safety plan. There are 10 intersections and corridors in the city of Napa that are high collision, which is something for us to be aware of as many of them can be around our, our schools. And so they didn't have the report there, but they did present it to the council. Um, and I know they were going to share that with us. Um, and, um, yeah, just, I think really good to meet in person. I think there's a lot of firsts that are happening like that. And so it was really nice to be able to sit down and get to know the face and not the square, um, and just have that, that conversation. So I don't know, Trustee Water, if there was anything you wanted to add. No, that's perfect. That's exactly what, what, what we talked about. Okay. Thank you very much. 
Trustee Gracia, would you like to address the town of Yauntville meeting? Sure. Yeah, we did meet uh, and we discussed the developments at both uh, Yauntville and the school district. Uh, we discussed everything from district staffing issues to the anticipated changes coming to the Yauntville board as a result of the coming election. Thank you very much. And Superintendent and Executive Staff Report, Dr. Massetti. Thank you, President Jenkins. So, so good evening, NVUSD trustees, staff, and community. Since our last board meeting, I had the pleasure of visiting Bel Air Elementary and New Technology High School, where we have two new two new principals in their first years on the job, Principal Dev, who we saw tonight, and Principal Title. They both led me through their schools with confidence, pride, and enthusiasm. So that was great to observe, and I want to thank them for hosting me. I also had positive school visits at McPherson Elementary and Silverado Middle School. It was great to observe those two school communities in action as well. Last week, I attended the District English Learner Advisory Committee, our DLAC meeting, and also held the second Superintendent Parrot Advisory Committee meeting of the year on Monday, earlier this week. In both meetings, I was so humbled by the knowledge, the perspective, commitment, and willingness so many of our parent leaders bring to our school system. The parent leaders and representatives on both of these committees are so generous with their time and energy. Often they're working in these system level committees while also being very, very active at their children's own schools. They are, th are, they are authentically interested in learning about how the entire district works. The parents provided constructive feedback on the implementation of many of our initiatives in both committees. These initiatives that are focused on continuously improving the educational experiences of all of our students. I wanna recognize these parent leaders from across all of our schools and thank them for their deep partnership. Next, I also wanna inform our stakeholders that a public notice regarding the postponement of the celebrating our school's October and April non-business meetings has been added to our website. Given the demand on principals, uh, school site administrative teams, assistant principals and principals, all of our teachers right now, due to staffing shortages, we wanna make sure that our school site teams can give their full attention to operating our campuses. So we look forward to returning to our celebrating our schools meetings in the fall of 2023. It's been stated a couple times already, but as a breast cancer survivor, I wanna recognize that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As I confronted the disease myself almost two years ago, so many staff members and community members reached out to me, letting me know that either they themselves or a friend or family member had been diagnosed with breast cancer. Cancer changes everyone and every family it touches, including ours. So join me today in raising awareness about the impact of breast cancer on the women in our local community and beyond. Since we don't have another board meeting until November, I'll end by saying that I'm looking forward to experiencing my fifth big game between Napa High School and Vintage High School, one of the perks of being the NVUSD superintendent. It's always such an amazing night the NVUSD, in the NVUSD community, and I look forward to attending big game number 51, which is scheduled to happen on Friday, October the 28th. And lastly, um, I want to just thank uh, President Gail Young, President of, of NVA, President Leslie Walder of NAPS, and President Hector Ga Ga um, Gallegos of CSEA for their presence tonight, for their words, kind words of support, and most important, for their collaboration and partnership. Um, I just love some of the the words that were stated. Um, thank you for the two of you being here present and Hector being online. Um, it is really truly through the partnership and collaboration with all of them as extraordinary labor leaders that we are able to accomplish sometimes difficult work that ensures that we can continue to treat our employees with respect and professionalism through one of the number one ways of doing that, which is ensuring that their compensation remains competitive. And we could not do it without the extensive collaboration that we do with all of you. So thank you for constantly uh, extending that collaboration and partnership. So with that, I'm going to um, introduce my assistant superintendents who will report out on their respective uh, divisions. And um, we'll start out with assistant superintendent, Mike Pearson, who oversees operational services. Uh, good evening, President Jankowitz, MBC Board of Education Trustees, Dr. Musetti, Student Board Representative Sam Gomez and members of the MBSD community. In transportation, the Director of Transportation, Justin Binion, and Supervisor Fernando Rivera 
are just finishing up a series of training sessions uh, with two current bus drivers who are learning to become behind the wheel tra trainers. Once the two drivers complete their training with Mr. Binion and Mr. R uh, Rivera, the applicants will then have to pass a test administered by the Department of Education to be certified. By building this type of capacity internally with current employees, Mr. Binion will now be able to train more potential bus driver applicants who have to pass a driver training program to be eligible for employment. And I want to commend Mr. Binion for being a, a creative problem solver in this particular situation. In food service, uh, recently, uh, we just recently uh, reported on the number of meals served as, at uh, breakfast and lunch for the month of September. 129,189 lunches were served and 119,247 breakfasts were served. This represents a 19% increase in lunch counts and a 49% increase in breakfast counts when compared to September of 2021. Additionally, the September 2022 monthly reimbursement claim totals are or is $1,133,498.81. I believe this is the highest reimbursement claim MVSD Food Services has ever submitted. I want to acknowledge the incredible hard work of the entire food service department and specifically mention the excellent teamwork of the specialists, Megan Hupp, Mohammed Yassin, Central Kitchen Managers, Melissa Zewi, and Renee Story, and the office team of Joe Aurora and Rosie Mendoza Ortiz, uh, while in the absence of our food service director, uh, Kristen Tico, who is on maternity leave. Their exceptional leadership has been quite impressive. In maintenance, uh, briefly, I would like to mention uh, and recognize HVAC filter specialist Sergio Rodriguez for helping recently a West Park second grade student uh, learn more about our H HVAC units, along with helping Mr. Rodriguez change the filters in one of the HVAC units. Mr. Rodriguez's patience and willingness to share his knowledge definitely left a lasting impression with the student, which I think you can see on our website. And finally, under professional development, which is happening tomorrow, um, several members of the operational services will be participating in one form of training or another uh, during the professional development day. Transportation drivers and head and day custodians will be attending the in-service delivered by Dr. Re uh, Victor Rios and his team in the morning. Uh, and most of our food service employees will be updating their food handling training. And later during the day, maintenance and custodial employees will receive fire extinguisher training. And lastly, maintenance and grounds employees will participate in the exciting training of boom and scissor lift training. So thank you. And this concludes my report tonight. Thank you so much, Mr. Pearson. Next, we have Assistant Superintendent Dana Page, uh, who oversees the Human Resources Division. Good evening. Uh, good evening, President Jankowitz, Board of Trustees, Dr. Massetti, and Student Board Representative Gomez. I'm very excited for our upcoming um, an annual interest-based problem solving training workshop that we're putting on. As many people know, interest-based problem solving is the foundational approach to employee-employer relations, which has served NVUSD very well for almost 40 years now. So training staff, including new site administrators, new, um, new site representatives and board members ensures that we have a common language to work through complex challenges together in an open collaborative approach that facilitates um, reaching the best solution possible. This year, we have a new spin on the training thanks to our NVEA lead negotiator and Napa High School social studies teacher, Deb St. Clair. Deb is an expert in educational technology and has helped us to create a hybrid format for the training. So this year, participants, um, they currently have access to the Google to a Google Classroom for all the lectures, readings, and activities to learn about interest-based problem solving, everything from um, the history of why we do it to the actual step-by-step -step process. Um, and after completing the online portion at their convenience, then participants will gather on October 25th, where we'll meet and practice interest-based problem solving in person together. Uh, it's very exciting to see this training evolve yet remain and remain fresh and relevant while preserving the foundational elements. And for the first time, we have some participants from other districts who have heard about interest-based problem solving and are interested in learning more. I'd also like to mention our latest staff spotlight on Fontaine Segerquist. Fontaine is a physical education teacher at American Canyon High School. She was nominated by her colleagues uh, in recognition for her exceptional teaching. Um, she cares deeply about her students and their learning, and she spends countless hours planning exciting and engaging lessons. She's extremely thoughtful and goes above and beyond in her teaching. And in this spotlight, you'll get to learn a little bit more about what motivates Fontaine um, to do great work with students and how she enjoys spending her free time. So check it out in our latest staff spotlight in the staff newsletter. And if you know any other extraordinary employees in the NVUSD, please consider nominating them for staff spotlight. This concludes my report.
Thank you, Ms. Page. On behalf of Assistant Superintendent Pat Andrew Jennings, tonight we have Director Mary Ann Christofferson, who will be reporting out on behalf of the Instructional Services Division. Good evening, President uh, Jankowitz, Board of Trustees, Dr. Musetti, Student Representative Gomez, and the Napa Valley Unified, Commun Unified District Community. I'm excited to stand in for Assistant Superintendent Pat Audrey Jennings tonight, presenting on the work of the Instructional Support Services Division. Our entire team has been preparing for our first in-person professional learning day since 2019. Tomorrow, over 1,000 NVUSD classified and certificated staff will gather at American Canyon High School to engage in learning focus on the board's annual priorities. More information about the professional learning day will be shared at next week's board advisory committee meeting. At the elementary level, the NVUSD expanded learning programs have been open and providing needed after school care and enrichment to students across all NVUSD elementary and middle school campuses. We are pleased to report that after school intervention classes began this week at most elementary school sites, with additional schools coming on board in the next couple of weeks. Students in need of academic support in the expanded learning programs are provided academic support two to three days per week by both credentialed teachers and trained instructional assistants. Interventions are currently focused primarily on math using Bridges Interventions materials to ensure a strong connection to the contents, uh, content students are learning during the school day. To prepare our students for life beyond high school, we offer the PSAT during the school day. On Wednesday, October 12th, we had 1,275 11th grade students at American Canyon High School, Napa High School, New Technology High School, Napa Valley Independent Studies, and Vintage High School had the opportunity to participate in the PSAT during school day, providing these students a chance to compete for scholarships, learn about advanced courses that align with their strengths and practice for the SAT. Thank you. That concludes the Instructional Sports Services update. Thank you, Ms. Christofferson. And next we have Assistant Superintendent Rob Manguala, who oversees the Business Services Division. Thank you for the opportunity to update the board and the community. On the economic front, we're watching inflation very closely as this is one of the primary drivers for Federal Reserve policy, which has been very hawkish and has resulted in an increase in the Fed funds rate of three quarters point of a point at the last three meetings, and will likely uh, there will be likely another three quarter point increase at the next meeting. So, wh why is this important? This is very important because it's led to a pullback in the stock market and real estate market. As a result, state revenues have been coming in slower than anticipated, about two billion dollars per month. So big decreases, however, it's still very early. It's way too early to get overly concerned. Also, given our strong reserves, we are in a position to weather a, a very likely recession, recession in the next 12 months or so. Um, the entire business services division has been very busy planning for tomorrow's professional learning day. The technology team will be providing an on-site technical, su uh, technical support to presenters and participants. The fiscal services team, data and assessment and enrollment departments will be providing training on a variety of topics to classified staff, including tips and, trips, uh, tick, tips and tricks for escape, how to run queries to pull and manipulate data, and how to support families for our upcoming open enrollment and registration season. This concludes my report. That concludes our staff reports. Thank you. Approval of consent agenda. Background information on these items is provided to the board prior to the meeting. A common motion takes action without discussion on a roll call vote unless discussion of item or items is requested by a board member. May okay, get a motion to approve the consent agenda. So move. Second. First, first by Trustee Water, second by Trustee Gracia. Vera, may I please have a roll call vote? Yes, student board member Gomez. Aye. Trustee Jankowitz. Aye. Trustee Gracia. Aye. Trustee Water. Aye. Trustee Gonzalez Mares. Aye. Trustee Shu. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Action items under general services, adoption of revised Napa Valley Unified School District Governance Handbook. May I get a motion? Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second by. Second. Second by Trustee Second. Gonzalez Mares. Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? 
There is no public comment on this item. Thank you, student board rep. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Resolution number 2311, authorizing continued use of remote teleconferencing provisions pursuant to AB 361 and government code section 54953. So moved. First second. by Trustee Gracia, second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? There is no public comment on this item. Thank you. Vera, may we please have a roll call vote? Yes, student board member Gomez. Aye. Trustee Jankowitz. Aye. Trustee Gracia? Aye. Trustee Water? Aye. Trustee Gonzalez Mares? Aye. Trustee Shu? Aye. Thank you. Thank you, Vera. Bless you. Resolution 2312, approval and adoption of Exhibit 90 9270 Board Bylaws. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? There is no public comment on this item. Thank you. Vera, may I please have a roll call vote? <laughs> Student Board Member Gomez? Aye. Trustee Jankowitz? Aye. Trustee Gracia? Aye. Trustee Water? Aye. Trustee Gonzalez Mares? Aye. Trustee Shu? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Business Services, Board Policy 6158 Independent Study. May I get a motion? Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. I'll second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels. There is no public comment on this item. Student Board Rep. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Administrative Regulation 6158, Independent Study. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels. There is no public comment on this item. Thank you. Student Board Rep. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Developer agreement with Napa Pipe? Move. So move. First by Trustee Water, second by Trustee Gracia. Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? There is no public Student comment. Board Rep. <laughs> Thank you. Student Board Rep. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. AB 1200 slash 2756 for NBEA, NAPS, Management, Confidential, and CSEA. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels, any public comment? There is no public comment on this item. Thank you very much. Student Board Rep. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Moving on to Human Resources. Local... Local assignment options for teacher assignments 2022 23. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracian. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? There is no public comment on this item. Thank you, Student Board Rep. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Request to hire educator less than fully credentialed. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels. There is no public comment on this item. Thank you. Student board rep. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Employee agreement amendments for executive cabinet. Move to approve. One Second, moment, please. One, no. one moment. Consistent with the agreements reached with other employee bargaining groups and the application of the formula calculation, a compensation increase of 7% retroactive to July 1st, 2022, and a one-time off-salary schedule 2% increase in compensation is being recommended for the superintendent and assistant superintendents. Approval of the attached employee agreement amendments will amend the agreements between the Napa Valley Unified School District and the following employees. Dr. Rosanna Musetti, Dana Page, Patricia Andre Jennings, Rabinder, not, did not roll off the tongue, Manguala, and Michael J. Pearson. It's been motion dead. It has. Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? There is no public comment on this item. Thank you, student board rep. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Scoot education agreement. Move to approve. First by trustee Gracia. Second. Second by trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? There is no public comment on this item. Student board rep. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 
Motion passes. Formula MOU with salary increase for fiscal year 2022-23. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? There is no public comment on this item. Thank you. Student board rep? Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Instructional <laughs> services. Public hearing and adoption of resolution 2310 certifying compliance of education code section 60119 and education code section 60422. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? There is no public comment on this item. Vera, may I please have a roll call vote? A student board member Gomez? Aye. Trustee Jankowitz? Aye. Trustee Gracia? Nay. Trustee Water? Aye. Trustee Gonzalez Mares? Aye. Trustee Shu? Aye. Thank you. Oh, on the public. Oh, you are correct. Okay. I'm going to, we're going to have to re vote. We have to have a public hearing. My apologies, but I do get to use the gavel. Open public hearing. Uh, Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? Uh, there is no public comment. Okay, thank you very much. We will now close the public hearing. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels, we do not have any public comment. Vera, may I please have a roll call vote? Yes, student board member Gomez? Aye. Trustee Jankowitz? Aye. Trustee Gracia? Nay. Trustee Water? Aye. Trustee Gonzalez Mares? Aye. Trustee Shu? Aye. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vera. Agreement between Child Start Inc. and Napa Valley Unified School District at ed. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? There is no public comment on this item. Thank you. Student board rep? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Agreement between Child Start Inc. and Napa Valley Unified School District and BLA. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels? There is no public comment on this item. Thank you, student board rep. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. School plan for student achievement for Unidos Middle School. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels? There is no public comment on this item. Thank you. Student board rep? Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Appointment of Napa Valley Unified School District representatives to the Napa Valley Adult Education Consortium Board of Directors. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels. Uh, there is no public comment on this item. Thank you. Student board rep? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Moving on to operational services. Ratification of license agreements for law enforcement agencies for use of facilities for training purposes. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? There is no public comment on this item. Thank you. Student board rep? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Ratification of license agreement with Napa County for use of facilities for training purposes. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu, Mr. Michaels. There is no public comment on this item. Thank you. Student board rep. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes. School planning and construction. Resolution 2313, California Schools Healthy Air Plumbing and Efficiency Program. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu, Mr. Michaels. There is no public comment on this item. Thank you. Vera, may I have a roll call vote, please? Yes, student board member Gomez? Aye. Trustee Jankowitz? Aye. Trustee Gracia? Aye. 
Trustee Water? Aye. Trustee Gonzalez Mares? Aye. Trustee Shu? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. SPC number 3871-16, request for payment to California Department of Education for plan review associated with Napa Junction. Move to approve. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? There is no public comment on this item. Thank you, student board rep. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. SBC number 7.4-23, Request to surplus four relocatable classrooms. Move to approve. Second. First by Trustee Water, second by Trustee Gracia. Mr. Michaels, do we have any public comment? There is no public comment on this item. Student Board Rep? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Informational section of the e evening under general services. Did anybody meet? Are there notes attached? There are, are not. Can you just let me know which ones by chance? Yeah, so there are notes for the curriculum and student support committee, the facilities and technology committee. Great, thank you very much. Business services enrollment report. Anybody have a comment? I think we all know what it says. Additional suggestions and comments from board members and superintendent. Future agenda items. And just quickly, I want to thank all of you for coming this evening. We do appreciate an audience. Please feel free to come back at any time. And a round of applause to you guys. So the public knows we're uh, recognizing and applauding the AP government class, correct? From which high school? That's Vintage High, okay. AP government. Now, um, may I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. First by Trustee Gracia. Second. Second by Trustee Chu. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are now adjourned.